friends. Say hey when you're hopping on. You guys have been asking for a matte palette and Ophir has delivered. So their most popular palette is the Perennial Palette. I don't even know how many bajillions of these like have sold. They it is just such a good palette. It has its metallics, it has cool tones and warm tones in it, right? We love it. Love the perennial palette. Well, now they have come up with a new palette. It's called the Dune palette and it is a matte shadow palette. Um, and today, Ophir is going to be on here with us and they're going to, um, I hate to tear a box, but it might happen. Uh, they're going to give away two eyeshadow palettes plus three blushes um, to people who share today. So share this video, comment shared below. Um, are you ready for it? Unboxing of the Dune palette. Oh, hang on, it still has little tabbies on it. Oh, so satisfying. Look at these colors. Oh, I love a good neutral. So we are going to do a Kim K Oscar inspired look today. Um, did you guys see her Oscar look? It was really beautiful um nice wing liner uh, neutrals and then she also had like a very tan lip with like a little bit of brown on the edge of it. it's just a cute it's just a good look so that's what we're gonna do today um so let's get started um share this video comment share below they'll give away two palettes and um three blushes today okay how was everybody's Easter, how's everybody's month been? How's everybody's, I feel like it's been a minute. Um, all the things, spring break, just, I feel like we have kind of had nonstop children. Um, to be honest, between sickness and breaks and holidays, today everyone is in school except the baby. And I'm like, all right, let's get back to business. Okay, I put a little bit of self tanner on just a few minutes ago. And um, but I'm gonna blend this in. This is the shade Cardamon. Oh, good morning from Massachusetts. Where's everybody else coming in from? If you've never tried Ophir's foundation, they have a foundation finder on their website and it's really cool because you can put in what brand and shade you typically wear and it will just tell you what you need. I forgot to put on primer. Ugh. Bummer. Okay, so primer is so good. It allows your makeup to last like super long time all day. Um, it just makes my skin look really smooth and it fills in all of your pores and everything. I love their dewy primer. Uh, if you are oily, they have a matte primer. I mean, you can tell I literally use this stuff um, all the time. It's so good and I forgot. So if you had an orange, imagine your face is an orange. You have a lot of little pores and when you put primer on it, it kind of fills in all those pores and your makeup sits on top of it. That's what I'm going to be missing today in my look. It's okay. It'll all be fine, but I personally think that like primer is a game changer for just your whole look. Just makes your makeup look so so good okay one so i'm using the shade cardamom i use coriander when i'm not as tan um but to be honest i can use several of their shades very 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 blendable um this is my nails currently so i know i will make it at some point that hasn't happened, so I just look. I feel like when you look like this too, you're like, this is a physical representation of the chaos of how wacky my life has been lately. Um, but no, I'll get them done. But for today, 
Anybody else have a wonky nail or you've had one before you get it? Um, okay, here we go. We're gonna go in with a concealer. Just find it, I'm gonna do a little highlight. Where could she be? Hmm. Those are lip glosses. We're gonna have to just dig in the bag. Found her. Okay. Okay, this is the shade Silk. It is pretty light, but we are going in for a little bit of a dramatic under eye. Highlighting the T-zone area. Ooh, you're on weather watch in North Mississippi tornado warning and watches. Oh, I'll be praying for you. I, storms, we get tornadoes here and they're so scary. So I'm just taking a beauty blender and tapping in that concealer to brighten up my under eye. And I do put a little on my eyelids because they are Darker, you can see my veins. Oh, Tammy says she's 58 and no fear foundation with the dewy primer works so well for her. Okay. I'm gonna go in with um setting powder. I have good news. Setting powder is supposed to restock this month. Cheers! Okay, so Ophir is on here with us today. They are doing the giveaway, so be sure you share. And they're giving away two of the new Dune palettes, and they are giving away um, three blushes. I'm just putting on, I am so glad they're restocking because this is what, it's where I'm at. I do go in around where my nose kind of gets sweaty and I always am sure to put a little bit of setting powder there. Yeah, if you personally need a color match, you can send me a message and I can color match you. Um, but if you are like, I'm ready to order and to be honest, their tech, like technology is probably better than I am at color matching, but I'm always willing to try. <laughs> um, so you can send me a message but they have that foundation finder that they have. It is like spot on. Okay, we're going in with a little bit of the apricot blush. Just see how that blush lifted? They're giving away three blushes today. They have guava, apricot, and currant. One is like a really pink, this one's peachy, and the other is like a deep, current color I'll show it to you. I'm gonna do just the tiniest tap of this from like here to here. Just add a little extra lift. If you get too much, blend it out. Okay. We have to contour. We still haven't done that yet. Now we're gonna go in and we are going to contour. This is the palette, it's the deep palette. And um, I got a new one. Mine was old, old, old. I've been using it the whole time I've used Ophir. That's how long it lasts me. But I was getting to the point to where I was like, we are going to crumble soon, folks. There's only a tiny, tiny, tiny bit around the edge. And so got in a new palette.
you ever feel like you went down a little too low or anything, just take your foundation brush and blend it. A little goes a long way, so I would start with a little and you can always add more, but it is harder to blend out like too much product than it is to just add. So always start with just a little. I am gonna really try and make that like chisel on my jawline a little stronger. I'm gonna put some bronzer under my chin so that it looks more like a shadow. Same thing here. So all we're doing here is we're just playing with shadows and highlights. And I just kind of am pinching this and barely using the outer edge of my brush. And I do put in bronzer on my forehead and then also a little trick, especially if you are a self tanning person, um, nothing gives it away more than if you don't have a tan part. So just take a little bit of your bronzer kind of. like oh it just blends don't realize that it makes a difference until you see pictures of yourself and you're like oh my part was pretty white okay like my shorts are riding up nobody ever loves that so once you kind of have your um makeup the way you like it if you want to add a little more contour you can So to be honest, this is like a really great base face. I would have added primer. It's the only thing I'm wishing I had right now. But even without it, it looks really good. All right. Today is housekeeper day. Uh, it's, you know, the day where you had to straighten up your house before the housekeepers came. And we have housekeepers come once a month. And it is probably my favorite day of the month. Um, they come in and they like mop and, you know, like deep clean and, um, I have four kids and we work from home. We stay from home. We have two dogs. We have three cats. Hi. Um, so they're saying hello. Uh, I have had the same people for 12, at least 12 years. Um, I used to trade out and I would do photography for them um, and they would like photography for their birthday party. I used to be a photographer. Um, I would do photography for their birthday parties, for their, when their babies were born, like all these things. I would do, um, I would trade out just like little things, babysitting, whatever, just to have it. Um, and because some people are really great at cleaning their house and other people need a little extra help. And I've always fallen into that category of like, oh my gosh, I can't wait for the day they come and like rescue me and my house looks put back together again. And um, highly recommend it. Okay, here we go. We're going in with the Dune palette. So share this video, comment share below, and they're gonna pick two winners for this palette. Going in with this lightest matte color right in my inner corner. All the products that we're using today is from over here. Right, now we're gonna go in with this tan.
And this is going to be our base. So again, I did the lightest color in this inner corner highlight and the second shade on top, this tan. Um, this just dropped today. So if you're like, what? What's this palette? Is that new? Yes, it is new. Um, everyone has been begging for a matte palette from Ophir. Their perennial palette was a viral sensation and I expect no less from this. Now we're going to go in with, I'm going to just kind of swatch this on my finger. So there's that shade. Poor little nail, sorry. There's this one. Just to kind of see what colors I want to use. This is my first time using this palette as well. It just came in. Okay, I'm going to try. That's such a good color. Um, oh, obsessed with this. Oh, what a good dark. Okay, and then I also love that this palette has navies in it as well. Just trying to rub my hands off so that I am, um, hang on, I need, I'm going to end up making the biggest mess if I'm not careful. Let me just, there we go. Well, erase cleanser just to wipe it all off so I don't get it on my clothes. All right, let's keep swatching. Um, okay, so this is stunning. This is stunning. Oh, I love browns. So I used to have one palette. Mm, look at that navy. And it was a creams palette. And um, this one is a really dark. It almost looks black, but it's like a navy. And I used that one palette. Like that was the only way I knew how to do my eyeshadow was like with those colors. Like those are my colors. And now I've branched out and I use a lot of different colors, but I find neutrals to just be my happy place. Like I genuinely just love the look of neutrals. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna go in with a really fluffy brush and start building up this outer corner. And then kind of blend it out a little bit here. If you get too much, just blow. Oh, I just saw Ophir comment in the works to ship to Canada soon. That would be exciting. We have a lot of friends in Canada who are consistently wanting to be able to shop. So that's exciting. Okay, I am going to go in with the lighter color underneath my um, lower lashes, and then I'll add the darker color at the end. So. like a really good it could be formal and fancy with it obviously Kim K did the Oscars and neutrals but I just think this is such a good everyday look okay going in with this darkest shade of brown I'm doing the outer corner with that You could also, if you wanted, um, like, you could spritz this with water. Is there any water in here? I'll show you. There's like, you can make them more pigmented as well. So if you were to take like a little liner brush, if you wanted to. Pack this on here. You could go in and kind of like line and it'll look significantly darker. And then look, it just dries. We might actually do that just right here. Also, I feel like I've got some um, powder in my eye.
see the difference? Like how it really really makes it pop. And then look. So nice. Okay, so going in with that darkest shade. Gives you that doe eye look. Um, you could either continue that method for your um, eyeliner on top, but I'm going to actually use a black liner. One second. I love peeling these off. They're so satisfying. Um, got like a fuzz or something. I'm just gonna take that same little brush we were using and smoke it out just the tiniest bit. Okay, now we're gonna go in with that same little dark color and I'm gonna put it just barely right in the crease here. See how it just added so much drama? Tiny, 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 tiny bit. Okay, drop a heart if this is a palette you would want to win. Drop a heart if this is a palette you would wear daily. Oh my gosh. Oh, you can use the code SECRET as well. I forgot to mention that. Use the code SECRET. Um, it should be pinned in the comments here. Let's see. Um, but it's in the description of the video. There's an exclusive link and code uh, is secret and you will save. Ophir, if you can pin that link by chance and the code, um, just so they can shop easy straight from this video, that'd be awesome. After the video is over, it won't let me do it. And it isn't currently, I don't have the link um, and I can't hop off the live to get it. Um, okay, so what do we think? I'm loving it. All right, we're gonna go in with their liner. If you've never tried their um, liner before, their liquid liner is beautiful. I almost feel like we're gonna go with that method that we talked about. I do love their liner, but it looks like in her picture that it is maybe like not quite stark black. Um, so I'm gonna do something where this is just a water bottle. You could use, it's just I drink water. Um, you can just take your water, get a little bit on there, and I'm gonna kind of mix this little blue, or this little brown color we were using, and a little bit of this really dark navy. I'm just gonna do this back and forth. And then in my lid where there's really not anything there, I'm just gonna kind of smudge them together I'm gonna make my own little wet liquid liner out of this because it does dry. I mean, <laughs> it's perfect for this. All right, so I am using a phone. Just like that. And I go straight across. So this is kind of like a brown, brown black little look here. That's how I should have held my brush on the other one. I 
they're gonna mess up. Let's just make it work and fix it. It's right there on the end. It's the only part I didn't like. Try. Take two. Welcome to actual Facebook Live where nothing's edited. And this is all real life. Okay, this does dry pretty quickly, so. Just want them to like, skincare help. Uh, if you send me a message, I can help you um, find whatever it is you're needing. I can totally help with that. Okay, now we're going in with liner. You could use your liquid liner for that. You could use, or we're going in with mascara. The light, since I wiped a little bit of that off. We're just gonna make sure they match. Okay, so their mascara has castor oil in it. It will actually lengthen and strengthen your lashes. Are you guys here for a cute neutral lip look? When we're done, um, Ophir will pick the winners today for three blushes and two eyeshadow palettes. And then the link is in the description of this video. And the code is secret to save 20%. If you're watching the live, can you drop a one? And if you're watching the replay, drop a two. We'll see who is on here for what. Just making sure they're fanned out the way I like. Ooh, if you like the premium palette, it's the only thing you've used, you would love this one. Beth says, I love Ophir, best foundation ever. And she is the queen of foundation. Megan says her foundation and concealer are coming today. She can't wait to try. So I think there's something really soft and subtle about that brown, adding a little bit of the navy, like a deep brown, instead of stark black. I also use a black eyeliner all the time, but I think there's something really beautiful it's a little more subtle, but still dramatic. I 
So something to think about with a palette like this is you can use this as a base to mix with bold colors as well. So you could, if you had a palette that has a lot of peaches, you could use this with that. If you had a palette that had a lot of greens, you can mix your neutrals. So it's great to have a neutral palette that you're like, I can use this as the base of a lot of my looks. And then you can add in little pops. I'm gonna go down a little bit with the flashlight. You like it? I love it. Okay. We're going to go in. This is the new lip liner. It's called All That. Their liners are 24 hour liners. You can literally eat with them on, like eat soup. And you're like, huh. Uh, I used Ophir's Comfortable um, Waterproof Mascara today. I also was thinking like, this is going on differently than normal. What is going on? And it's the waterproof. So they're, um, and then here's the regular. They're in the same kind of, I'm going to put a little bit of the regular on. I feel like I get more length with the regular mascara, but I get like no um, smudges at all. Or if you're going to a water park, if it's raining, if you're going to be crying, anything. Uh, there we go. So you can even tell just by that one little coat of the regular. Just get a little thicker lashes with the regular. But there is a time and a place for waterproof um, that I feel like a waterproof mascara is important. Uh, especially, oh, I need to just wait and get a little spoolie and flick that off before I make a big mess. Especially if you're going anywhere, like my kids play sports on days where I know it's gonna be really humid at the soccer field, I will do a waterproof mascara. Um, but my regular is typically their regular mascara. Just gonna give it a little extra drama. Okay, now we're going in. This is the new lip shade called Whatever. And it's just a really beautiful, creamy neutral. And then I'm just going to play with this until I get it the way I like it. I think it's a record. Give away five things in one video. You only like neutral, so this is perfection. Yay! I gotta get that off my lid. I'll show you how I do it in just a second.
I, again, I just like, it's going to stay on all day. So I just play until I get the colors exactly where I want them. It's like, okay, how do I want, how dark do I want the upper lip? Where do I want a little tan? I love the inside. be lighter and I do overline my lips just a little. This whole look so classy. It's so beautiful. Okay, let's get this off of our let's get this off of our um just take a spoolie from any sort of eyeliner and you're gonna gently flick Anywhere that you got. Mascara, you didn't want it. It will just come right off if you've let it dry. You can also do this with a dry toothbrush. Or a baby toothbrush works really well. Okay, well, good luck to everybody who is sharing this video. Um, I just wanted to recreate this look for you guys today and hope you like it. If you haven't checked out the new palette, um, this is the new Dune palette. The link is in the description of the video and the code secret will save you 20%. So if you have questions about anything, shoot me a message. Yes, yeah, so the lip liner was the shade All That is the dark brown and uh, whatever is the lipstick. And it's a really pretty combo together. So um, anywho, hope you guys have a good day and uh, I will see you on my next live. Be sure you have your notifications turned on if you like videos like this one. Um, you just go to my page and there's three little dots. Every time I go live, it'll say Courtney Swan was live and there'll be three little dots to the right. And you click that and say turn notifications on and then that way you don't miss out on any lives. Whenever I go live, it will go ping, Courtney Swan is live. So, uh, anywho, hope you guys have a good day. Bye y'all.